Hey traders and investors, it's Serge Berger here. As we are slowly but surely closing out the month of November and heading towards the last month of the year, uh, I wanted to give you guys a, a quick look at one of the sectors that I think and one of the industries that I still think is poised to give us a rally into year end at some point possibly after a bit of a pullback in the middle part of December. And uh, the thing I'm looking at here is the semiconductors ETF, the SMH holds stocks like Intel, like Micron technology. So big name stocks in the semiconductor space as a whole. Now, if we look at the SMH, you can see that there's been a clear uptrend that it's respected uh, for the most part since 2009 or since, since the financial crisis bottom for it. And you can see that trend has been, uh, has been well intact. In fact, what we saw at the August lows when we had the SMH drop very sharply, in fact, the SMH dropped roughly, let me do the math over here real quick, uh, the SMH dropped uh, nearly 30% from the May highs down to the late August lows. And you can see essentially what happened is that the SMH got too far removed from the support line and ultimately gravity came in. But look where it bounced. It bounced right off of that support line. So from that perspective, we continue to be able to play this from the upside, particularly if we now look at uh, this a little bit more closely on the daily chart. So here's the SMH on the daily chart. And what you can see is we had a real capitulation bottom here, like the broader market, what I call a waterfall effect, followed by exhaustion selling, followed by a confirmation buying. But in this case, we also already had uh, one higher low here. Then we had another base build here, another higher low here. And we're now essentially building uh, a, a, um, a con another consolidation phase that also lines up quite nicely with a clean line of resistance, a good reference line, I should say, at least right here. And if, if I were to show you some individual stocks like Intel, they are also looking very, very similar and ready to coil up uh, to the upside, things like Broadcom as well. So we have uh, semiconductor stocks as a whole looking very solid here. And I would think particularly for the SMH, what I'm looking to do on a break and hold above the 55, 55, 50 mark on a daily closing basis. Or if we get a dip, I'd, I'd look to buy the, the, the next bullish reversal. I would think this uh, group of, of, of stocks, and so the SMH should be able to move into that 58, 59, probably $60 area into year end, particularly if we have a year end Santa Claus rally from some point, at some point in the middle of December on. So there's one sector I'm looking at. There's plenty of others out there. Uh, if you guys uh, have any questions, please leave a, more, a remark at the bottom of this video. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.